Alright, here we are. Tido goodness. Thunderfox, anti terrorism team. So cool. In 199X, the world. Whoa! Wait, wait a second, I need to get this lore. In 199X, the world is overtaken by a storm of terrorism. The evil power of invasion extends over the land, sky, and ski. And sea. And ski. However, there are brave men fighting against it for putting down the storm. We got freaking Arnie and Stallone essentially. Anti terrorism team! Thunderfox. <laughs> so, this is. Um, this is kind of. I want to say almost like a uh, follow up to. Um, well, it's kind of like the same engine for, from Crime City, which you might have seen BBH stream. Kind of, kind of the same mechanics and the same engine as Crime City. It's like a spiritual success to that. It still has the rolling, in addition to a few extra moves, similar weapon like usage and jump controls and everything. But this game's a little different. It's got got the whole Rambo theme going on. Um, keep the volume like that. This game's just naturally a lot lower now. All these arcade games with different volumes. Um, so we're one for one, I friggin, I one cc Lord of King, but somehow, somehow freaking failed <laughs> Osman, even though that's the game I usually have on lock, but now for the decider, let's see if I can get at least two for three. And this is probably the hardest game out of all of them. Um, so let's go. This is a real cool game. Break through the enemy's front lines. So, straight up military action. <laughs> we got a knife. Knife is um, the most used weapon in this game, but when you pick up weapons like this, like the uh, flamethrower, it's um, pretty satisfying. Uh. So, there's actually a third button to use the flamethrower. You can still use melee shots when you're holding a weapon. You should try to kill some enemies with roll. There's the rolling. <laughs> the rolling thunder fox. Alright, um, let's do... Actually, no, I think I want to take this. There's vehicles! There's a jeep you can get in. Look at the smile on that guy's face. Ah, shit! Just harvest everyone. Oh, whoa, 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 don't lose the jeep. Dude, oh crap, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Mess it up, stage one. Stage one, Thunderfox! Stage one, Thunderfox, please! Uh, right here. Do that. Crap. You have to kill it with grenades. Can I hit him? I hit him. There we go. Alright. Almost died in stage one, but thankfully salvaged it. You can get trolled really quick in this game. And you don't get any extends, it's just the two lives. So, now we go into the Air Fortress. This is a really cool stage. Now let's see if I can get the bonus. You get a bonus here, like a score bonus. If you don't take any damage in this shmup segment. So yeah, like the variety of this game is really good. Like the tempo and the variety of the action. It, uh, it stays really fast and fun throughout this game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do this, stay back here. I got hit! No bonus, no 50,000 point bonus, I took one hit of damage, but that's okay. Put the noise down just a bit, I think, I think it's like, pretty loud, I don't know. Okay, here we just do this. 
This is actually kind of worth more points than killing all the shit normally because there's such a big time bonus. There's a mid boss. I like how it zooms in like that. <laughs> zooms in, you're still in the shmup thing. And now you climb into the battleship. Oh. Life. Ooh. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, it's a one shot kill if you fall into um, the uh, the doors in the back and get smashed out of the uh, battleship. I, I, I kind of freaked out from that enemy coming up behind. But uh, it's alright. Got machine gun. So here's another mid boss, the core of the battleship. So I like the whole feel and like narrative of this stage. How you actually start in the shmup stage, then you go down to the ship, you go inside the ship, you kill the core, and then there's an escape sequence. So it's kinda like the battleship in Strider actually. Escape sequence, pretty cool. Go up here. Watch out for the falling corpses. They can actually hit you. All that shit falling actually hits you. Down, jump. And we escape. On a little boat thing, a little hover boat with a gun attached to it because we're freaking Rambo. Infiltrate the enemy's aircraft carrier. <laughs> so it's like each section actually like leads into the next section, the next section from a narrative standpoint as well. It's, it's, it's real sick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And this is another section, <clears throat> just like the shmup segment, where um, if you do it without dying. Or without getting hit, I should say. You get a 50,000 point bonus. I was trying to get the world record high score in this game at one stage, a few months back. And I came close, but I didn't grind it out enough to get it yet. There we go, I think I got the uh, bonus. No damage bonus, 100,000 points on I was wrong, it's not 50,000, it's 100,000. It's even fatter than I thought. You can see there I use the Shoryuken kick to hit high enemies. It's a really fun and cool move that they've got in the game. Uh. Switching between knife and gun. It's so fun. More gun. Alright, so here is this guy. The first encounter with the spear, with the spear commando. First of the gigantic dude enemy, the gigantic dude commando bosses. It's like twice the size of a normal human. My favorite type of boss in this kind of game. <laughs> so this guy's got a very specific pattern. He's gonna escape here. Oh yeah. The time will I meet you again is the time you will die. So that was just a prelude of things to come. So here. Do that. Careful. I wanted to explain the pattern for that guy because for new people playing this game, it'll take you like forever to figure out some of these boss patterns, but they end up being somewhat simple once you figure them out. Uh, I'll try to explain when we fight that guy again. For now, I'm gonna take out that guy, get his freaking big ass rocket launcher. The rocket launchers only ever have one shot, so you just keep them until a good spot like that to use it. Roll! Roll! <laughs> the roll, man. Alright, there should be another rocket launcher guy here from what I remember. Oh. Yep, there we go, and then we do this. Because there's a life hidden behind here. Get that. 1,000 points for killing the box. Alright, here he is again. Here is your grave. 
Okay, so what you want to do is you wait for him to come out at you. Like, wait, wait a sec. Basically, just wait until he actually charges you. Is the only safe time you can you can hit him. The only 100% safe time. I like I safe stated the shit out of the bosses in this game at one point. This was like literally the only way to do it like damageless. Like you think there's kind of these other patterns? But ooh. Okay, I need to take some risks because he's getting too close to the edge. Get, get back. He takes a lot more hits now, too. So many hits. So many hits. I think there's something I'm missing that I forgot. I think there is actually another safe... A, a very sh a short window of safe time you can hit him, because... Usually I, I remember back when I was playing this hardcore, he wouldn't corner me like that. I think you can maybe hit him straight as he finishes spinning his spear or something for like a couple of frames. Anyway, now we need to pound the enemy's mind. There's crossbows in the jungle. And I wish wish they still made games like this, or it's just these kind of ridiculous, just macho man, military themed action games. Product of the 80s. Because of, of course, the action movie craze with Rambo and Arnie at the time. Look at that, look at the flamethrower just generates dudes. This is a good flamethrower in video games, this is not a bad flamethrower. Wah! Yeah, these freaking Navy SEAL commando dudes jumped out of the waterfall to get you. Alright, going into the mine here. Ah, some enemies do that, it's pretty annoying. Ooh, by the way, when you use the, the Shoryuken uppercut, like, uh, kick, it's in, it's completely invincible. Except for when you're landing like that. So, you can go through those obstacles that fall down and stuff. Need to get rid of all these guys. What the heck, that guy? Careful, don't want to lose too much life. I want all my lives going into the last stage for maximum safety. Those guys freaking jump kick you, they always take damage off. There's a bazooka. Oh, get those. Okay, let's just use that. Oh, I still got hit. I still got hit. Oh, he almost jump kicked me, that guy. He was getting ready for the jump kick. Okay, I got to the boss with at least some buffer health then. So I, I shouldn't lose a life. So this thing, the best way of getting rid of it is just Shoryukening the, uh... The weak spot there. The only annoying bit is, uh, when the rocks that come down is that formation. The, the ones that come out to the side. That. Some patience. Okay, straight down. Laser's fine if you just show you can through it. Oh, the timing is just off. Should only need like one more hit. Yeah, there we go. Uh, dance. Okay, into the last stage we go. 1.3 million. Alright, getting serious. Destroy the enemy's headquarters. Okay, this first scene can sometimes troll you with all these freaking guys. See the show you can actually hits as his knee comes down as well? It's pretty cool. Oh! Crap! Um... I've... I've never missed the jeep like that. I, I, I'm not prepared for this. I'm, I'm not prepared for doing this section without the jeep and like the mid boss. This, oh my god. Are you serious? Okay, just... This takes two seconds if you've got the jeep. I'm not prepared for 
for this? Well, how the heck did that happen? Okay, here it is. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's usually where the jeep crashes. And then you have to do this bit on foot. Okay, we're fine. We got health and everything. Ugh. Whoa, crap! Alright, okay, there is actually an alternate route. There's an alternate route, but I didn't want to fall down like that. So now we have to go this way. Come on, man. Okay, we need to get that guy's thingy. So the top route is like a little easier, sort of. You still get the flamethrower both ways. But... It should be fine. These you can kill. This bit's weird, like... You can kill it with the flamethrower? These things? Or you can just jump, and you don't touch the little flashing things and it doesn't make the other ones come down. For some reason. I don't think I get any life, any, any more life here. Ugh, jump, there we go. Give us another pistol. And I think the boss is up here. And the boss, it's a special boss, my favourite boss in the game. The boss is... Arnold Schwarzenegger, essentially, with an absolutely gigantic gun. So this first bit, you want to keep these guys at bay on the side, and when he does the machine gun butt, is your opportunity to quickly go and hit him. Like that. Quickly go hit him. Oh, he did it again. Get him. There we go. We fall down. Oh. Okay. Now I hope you're ready for the most incredible boss fight of all time. So this is, once again, just like the spear guy, this is the only consistent, safe way of beating this guy. He's gonna jump over to the other side here. Like that. This is the only consistent way. I safe stated this guy for hours. And although there's some ways to kill him fast if you just want to throw health away, I'm trying to... I'm hoping that this is gonna be a no death run at this point, so... I'll play it safe, but... If you're playing it safe, this is literally the only way to do it. Because... Oh! Crap. Because if you go on the ground and you try to keep him in like hit stuns and stuff, he always eventually, no matter what, cancels out with the um, with the machine gun gun butt move. That thing that he's doing there that looks hilarious. And uh, when he gets red on low life, he does it even more. So sometimes I remember I could keep him in hit stun without getting hit for like the first like 15 hits or something. But yeah, you see, the, the music's changed. He's still not red, but the music's changed, so he's like... He's in his harder rank mode. Dude, that gun. That freaking gun he's using. How freaking sick is that? It's so good. How much time do we have left? 150 seconds, okay. For a second there, I thought maybe I was on low time. Red. Damn. Oh. One bit of health left. The last boss is after this, but we do get our health back for the last boss fight. There we go. Arnold Schwarzenegger dead. Twice the size of a normal human. Okay, here we go. The final confrontation against the terrorist leader. You have well made it over into here. <laughs> he says some English shit there. So, hopefully I can pull off the no death clear. If I can pull off the no death clear, that'll be revenge for failing freaking Osman. We actually keep the same timer as the previous stage, I think. Oh, I didn't want to get hit there. Sure you can. Sure you can. Oh shit! Whoa! 
Okay, it's not a no-death clear, but it's <laughs> still in there. Dude, what is happening? What is happening? Holy shit! Alright, last phase. I can't believe how much damage he did to me then. Sure you can... Ugh. Okay, yeah, you have to be at a very specific range so he doesn't grappling hook you. Yeah. Should have been a no death player. Sure you can. Get him. 40 seconds left, shit. Hurry up, jump at me. Couple more hits. Oh, shh! This grappling hook, like I said. Oh, the sure you can finish, though. Ugh, how satisfying. It's a world record! There we go. Thunder Fox 1 PC. <laughs> one credit, all clear bonus. See that, you get a bonus. Was the battle truly finished? Battle is over, you're a great commander. <laughs> so, yeah, it gives you a bonus at the end for doing a 1 CC. Then it gives you that mysterious message. Don't know what that's alluding to, that's just Taito trying to be weird like they always were, but there's literally no mysterious part of the game, so. <laughs> there's no, like, secret real villain or anything. That's just it. It's ending music, by the way. Ending music is sick, let's listen to it. of using all the all the weapons in the game. Sound directed by Karu, one of the uh, less prolific Zutada members. She was pretty good though. Did this soundtrack and like Puzzle Bobble and Recal Horn. Special thanks to Tyrant Mac by the way. I don't know who Tyrant Mac is supposed to be, but Tyrant Mac. over. Okay, unlike Lord of King, can we actually put our name in to this one? Uh, okay, let's... Let's go for the classic. Oh, hurry! Oh! Was that a specific message because I put that as the initials? Like that voice clip? Where it says like, you die or something? I don't think I've heard that! It doesn't usually say that, does it? Is that for putting those initials in? Like, I don't remember hearing that voice clip. The freaking you die. <laughs> I don't know whether that was because of the initials or I just forgotten or what. It doesn't sound familiar. <laughs> it didn't let us have those as the initials though. We just got triple X. Anyway, good. Two for two. I, I, I cannot believe I failed Osman. I have not failed a 1cc of that game in years and years and years. And then I get the 1cc and the two harder games for me, but hey, it's still 2 out of 3. So, that was a lot of fun. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope everyone enjoys the 1cc marathon. There is 3 days of 1ccs to come from tons of players, and I'll actually be back tomorrow at the beginning again to kick off tomorrow's stream too. I won't be on the third day stream, but I'll be there tomorrow to play another Thunder game. I'll be playing Thunder... Thunder Zone from Data East. That's the only one. I won't be doing three again like today. But coming up next is Dumple Chan with, I believe, Mysterious Stones, which is 
If it's what I'm thinking it is, if it's the game where you like you're like the Indiana Jones type character and it's really old, then it's literally one of my favorite old early 80s sort of games. So I'm hyped for that. Everyone get hype for all this and thanks thanks for watching these runs and keep watching. See you later. Back to Pasky and or back to Jump Dumple Chan, I should say.